Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Now today, I am at the Minnesota State Fair. I am in the Independence Party booth, and I am hanging out with Mike Winter, candidate for mayor in Minneapolis. Hi Jay, thanks for stopping by. Oh, I'm glad to be here. And you know, Mike kind of came by when I was at the Libertarian booth hanging out. And I thought, you know what, I gotta get down and talk to him because I talked to Nate yesterday and made a video. So, you know, with everything going on and with all the all the emotions going on in society these days, there's a lot of people coming out who are trying to make a change. You tell me, why did you choose or think, you know what, I got to stand up and do something. I'm running for mayor. After 2020 and watching Lake Street burn to the ground and our mayor basically doing nothing, I decided as an average citizen to get off my butt and enter the race because I was tired of Big Ten politics. The DFL and the Republican parties just aren't for me, and I thought that Minneapolis needed a third party voice from somebody that lives in town. So you're kind of trying to pull a Jesse Ventura here. I am, in the same vein as Jesse Ventura, I'm okay. trying to get it done. What about you think you, you can do this and succeed? It's all about common sense and giving people what they want. What people in Minneapolis want are safe streets, more housing, to drive the rent prices down, and some answers to the ecological problems going on in the city. Oh, that's really interesting, because I, I got two points to talk to you on that, because we had a real big issue with, with some rental properties my wife and uh, brother-in-law are involved in, where people who weren't paying rent, who didn't even have leases, who moved in without a lease, we, could, we couldn't have them move out so we could start renting it, because they, they had to keep paying the mortgage, but they weren't getting any rent. Okay. How do you feel about that? I don't think that that's right. A lot of people that own these properties depend on that income to get by. That's what they do for a job. So as mayor of Minneapolis, I don't want any kind of rent control. I just want more choices for people. Because if you look at it with common sense, when somebody moves out of one apartment and moves into one that's slightly more expensive because they're doing better with their job or whatever, that's opening a spot for somebody else with cheaper rent. If we have more options like that in the city, I think the uh, housing problem will figure itself out. There's also a lot of commercial properties that are sitting empty that I would like to get rezoned and uh, refitted for uh, private use. And, and to me, that's a great idea. Because, as you said, a lot of these commercial places do sit empty. And why not repurpose them to something that's there? Now, you also brought up an ecological deal. What's your ecological deal? What do you think you can do to help improve that in Minneapolis? Well, Minneapolis is already doing a fantastic job of greenhouse gases. I believe it's down 18% from 2008. And, of course, we have um, target deals with how green that is, and that being the envy of every major league baseball team in the league. What I, I would like to bring to the table is fixing the issue with Lake Hiawatha and Lake Nokomis constantly flooding. Lake Hiawatha floods into Hiawatha Golf Course and is threatening a historic place to golf. I've been in close contact with a guy who has a plan called the Hiawatha Project to build a facility on the grounds there that will take care of the groundwater issue. That's interesting. Interesting. Something I hadn't heard of. Now, I, I've got something that I do, do think is valid, and that Minneapolis only allows wind turbines on buildings that are four stories or taller. So there's a huge swath of Minneapolis, residential especially, that doesn't qualify for this. Now, if we're going to go green, to me, we have to take advantage if wind works, if solar works, if geothermal works, whatever, wherever you are, we have to take advantage of that. How do you propose to rectify what I'm bringing up as an issue? I'd like to open it up to more properties then. If it's only four stories or taller, why not open it up to three stories or taller? I'm not as well versed as you are on wind turbines, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make things work in Indiana. And if that means redesigning some of the legislation and the, and the guidelines on that to get it done, I'm all for it. I would just like to have a city council that's a little more open-minded. Open-minded. I, I got to agree with that because it sure is that bent on being left. It is. Days. It's buried in the left. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. 
I'll tell you, this has been a fun conversation and I've learned something myself. Hopefully the people out there will have a little bit more information so they can make the right choice when the election comes up. Head to Mike4Minneapolis.com to learn more. I look forward to meeting all of you and talking to you. All right, Turbine Guy, signing off.